Hello Pokemon trainers! Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video here on iStarly TV. Today I'm going to show you the best shiny hunting method in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This is a very easy and farmable shiny method, shiny hunting method in Scarlet and Violet. Now it can take some time, it's not super quick, but it's very, very reliable. If you see here, I have this cute little shiny flittle that I got using this method, and I also got a shiny Tatsugiri, which is my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon, in the this method as well. Um, and the, the only two times I've tried this method, I've gotten a shiny, so basically I'm, I'm two for two using this method. I'm 100% uh, getting a shiny with this method. But anyways, the method in question is basically just mass outbreaks in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which are making a return from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, the thing about mass outbreaks in this game is, you know, they were a little, for lack of a better word, exploitable in Legends Arceus. And the same is kind of true here, just in a very different way. So I'm going to show you kind of the best way to get shinies in mass outbreaks because these were something that I did not understand when the games first came out. But I, I've seen a, a very detailed post on Twitter. I'm going to actually post a link to this in the description below for just the full text description of how to do this method. This is from a, a user called Anubis on Twitter who is a good data miner for Pokemon games. Anyways, with that being said, let's talk about the method. Now, this is a mass outbreak method and it uses picnics basically to reset spawns. So I'm just going to kind of try to show this um, as an example here. Um, let's talk a little bit about mass outbreaks in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, I flew specifically to this town because I saw that there was a tad bulb mass outbreak here. And so you can see mass outbreaks on your map because you see a Pokemon and then behind it or beneath it, you kind of see like a, a little flashing icon that looks like kind of like a monster or something, or maybe it looks like two monsters or something like that. If you I'll move my cursor so you can kind of see it. Um, underneath the tad bolt, there's kind of that glowing icon underneath it. And if you see that, that means there is a mass outbreak. From my understanding, mass outbreaks respawn every day or they re-roll every day. And that's based off your switches clock. I think I have a yeah, Magikarp outbreak down here. So basically, if you see, if you every day you can look through your map. Oh, there's a glim glimmet uh, outbreak, which is pretty cool. Every day you can check your map and look at the mass outbreaks that are going on. And if you don't see any Pokemon that you really like or that you really want to get a shiny of, you can basically change your switch clock. Um, by going to the settings and then going all the way down and changing your switch clock. Uh, you go to system and then right here. And you could basically change the day, move the day forward one. And from my understanding, that will actually re-roll your mass outbreaks. So you'll have different outbreaks and also different raids for what it's worth by doing that. So you can keep doing that basically until you see a mass outbreak of a Pokemon that you want. Or a Pokemon who you want to try to shiny hunt. Um, so that's pretty useful. That's pretty useful to know. Now, I'll just kind of, I guess I'll just go to the mass outbreak right now. <laughs> um, let's see. And, and I'll, I'll keep talking about the method itself. So the, the way that you do this method is if you've done a mass outbreak in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you'll notice that as you do the outbreak, first when you get there, it'll say like something like you discovered the mass outbreak or something like that. And then as you defeat more Pokemon, defeat or capture more Pokemon in the outbreak, it'll, it'll give you messages letting you know that the, the number of Pokemon in the outbreak is decreasing. And then when you, when you've defeated or captured E enough Pokemon, then basically the outbreak will be finished, kind of like in Legends Arceus, and the outbreak will be will be done. Um, and so the goal here, I, I'm going to try to be careful. Oh, okay, wow, I just ran right into the outbreak. Okay, so the goal here is basically to, so so basically when you defeat 30 Pokemon in a mass outbreak, you get an extra shiny chance, like your your shiny ch chance increases, or rather your chance of encountering a Pokemon of that species in the outbreak that's shiny <laughs> increases, if that makes any sense. Um, and then when you defeat 60 Pokemon, again, your, your shiny chance increases again for Pokemon in that outbreak. And so basically you your goal with this, and then if you defeat 
I think probably more than that, like another 20 or 30 from there, then the the number of Pokemon in the outbreak dwindles, and then again after that, it'll it'll go down to zero and the outbreak will be over. So the magic number here is about 60 Pokemon defeated or captured, which sounds like a lot, but using the let's go auto battle feature, oops, uh, that's probably a mistake. I sent out my level 22 Flittle, which did not um, destroy the Tadbulb. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, send out the Quackleval because that'll be a lot easier. So basically you can use the let's go auto battle feature and that'll count as me defeating one Pokemon in the outbreak. So basically I recommend you have a strong Pokemon in your party, a Pokemon that's much much stronger, much higher level than the Pokemon in the outbreak, so you can easily defeat them. Um, because, like I said, you need to, you need to try to defeat about 60 Pokemon from the outbreak, and you want to do that quickly because 60 is kind of a lot. So you want to be able to do that a little quickly. And so once again, you're going to want to have a strong Pokemon to do that. So let me try to aim here. I'm, I'm actually going to avoid that one for now um, and just go to these because these are a little bit a little bit easier. Um, that's not shiny, right? No, it's not shiny. The Veluza. Um, I think it's a it's a Terra Pokemon or whatever. So, anyways, you're gonna try to keep you're, you're gonna want to keep count, and I'm not really keeping count here. Um, but another way that you can keep count if you've defeated about 60 Pokemon is there will be a a message that says there are not many Pokemon left from the original outbreak. So basically, once you get that message, you kind of know that you're good to go. <laughs> this Veluza is going on to land to get me. Um, once you get that message that says, like, there are not that many Tadbolt from the original, or Tadbulb from the original outbreak, um, you know that you've defeated the magic number, and at that point, your shiny chances in the outbreak are basically at the maximum. And so once you've done that, once you've defeated 60 and you've seen that message that says, you know, the number of Tadbulb or whatever Pokemon you're, you're hunting has uh, is gotten lower or whatever. Um, I'll put it on the screen here. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to open a picnic. And in the middle of the outbreak, you're going to open a picnic if you do not see any shinies. And then basically you're going to immediately close the picnic. And what that does is it basically resets all of the Pokemon spawns. And so you're at the point in the outbreak where you have the highest shiny chance and you're going to reset the spawns by doing the picnic and then it'll show you a new batch of Pokemon in the outbreak. And from there you can run around and take a look at them. I'm going to try to put some footage from my um, Tatsugiri and Flittle uh, outbreaks where I got the shinies. Hopefully that'll also give you an idea of what to do. Um, but if you do not see a shiny, basically you open a picnic again and close out of the picnic and it'll respawn more Pokemon in the outbreak. And basically you just keep doing that. You keep repeating that process, opening a picnic, um, leaving the picnic immediately, and then running around and checking all of the Pokemon in the outbreak to see if they are shiny. If, they, if you see a shiny, you can save your game immediately and then you can... Um, obviously try to catch it and if something goes wrong then you can reset your game and the shiny should still be there now the the scary thing is <laughs> um if you reset your game and you and you reopen the game you might not see the shiny right away the shiny might be in a different location but it will it will be there in the outbreak still i mean again both times that i've done this it's funny actually the first time when i did the tatsugiri raid or i'm sorry outbreak and i got a shiny there um it knew memento which means it knocked itself out and i was so scared i had saved the game before but i was still really scared i reloaded the game and the tatsugiri was not in front of me and I was terrified because, again, it's like my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon, and I didn't see it. So I was terrified, and I um, I looked around everywhere, and I did eventually find it again in that, in that area. So keep that in mind. If you reset the game and then reload, and you don't see the shiny in front of you anymore, just, just keep looking. Just keep your cool, <laughs> and just keep looking for it in the area, and it might have run somewhere else. So keep that in mind. Um, and so, like I said, you basically just, at, once you've defeated 60 Pokemon in the outbreak, um, 60 or more, and you've gotten that message that says the number of insert Pokemon here is getting lower, um, then you know you're kind of at the, the maximum shiny odds, 
And see, see right there, it's saying it, the number of Tadbulb in the outbreak is starting to go down. That's the first message you get to let you know that you've defeated a lot of these, but that's not the message I want to see. The message, again, that I want to see is where it says that they're getting lower. Um, so I'll put that on screen, you know, I'll, I'll let you know which message specifically you need to be aware of. And, and once you see that message, that's when you can start um, opening picnics. I don't think I can reach that one here. <laughs> yeah, so um, you just open picnics, leave the picnics, and um, come back. Now the thing about mass outbreaks as well is depending on the kind of Pokemon, you want to be mindful of the kind of Pokemon that you're, you're hunting. If they're really small like this, it might be a little awkward because they're going to be all over the place. One of the first outbreaks that I did before I knew of this method and I did not get a shiny was Cyclozar. And Cyclozar is really fast and they move all over the mat really quickly. So it's really hard to keep track of Cyclozars, for example, if you're doing that. So keep, keep, it, keep, <laughs> keep in mind the Pokemon you are trying to hunt, but also the area where the mass outbreak is taking place because, once again, um, you know... If, there's, if the area is not super friendly, you know, the, the Pokemon in the mass outbreak might be all over the place and it might be harder to keep track of them. And also, like I said, I advise that you have a strong Pokemon just to very quickly clear these out. And you might also want to have a Pokemon with False Swipe on your team so that when you finally get your Shiny, you can, you know, kind of has, have an easier time catching it. You can get it to 1 HP and then you can, um, you know, have an easier time when you throw those Pokeballs. Also, if you don't really care what Pokeball you're catching it in, you could also stock up on Quick Balls because you could just throw them turn one and you have a higher chance of catching the Pokemon on turn one. So when you get your Shiny, you can do that, like I said. So like I said, I mean, you, you don't need to catch every single Pokemon you see in order to clear them. All you need to do is do the Let's Go Battle feature. A couple other things that I wanted to kind of bring up here... Um, with the shiny hunting again, you you know, it's basically the picnic method and I'll kind of show you how that looks as well Let me let me just clear these out just to kind of keep keep the process going I'm going to clear these and then you when you open the picnic You need to be mindful of where you are as well because if you don't really have that much space It's not going to let you open a picnic Also, if you're riding on Coridon or Miridon, you also will not be able to open a picnic I actually don't know if there's enough space here um yeah, there's not. Okay, that's fine. Um, now, here's another thing, because people are worried uh, with this method. Basically, this method is pretty, pretty, pretty friendly to like maybe messing up or doing other things. So when you open the picnic, you can actually make sandwiches in that picnic if you want. So if you have, if you're, if you're post game and you have the six star raids unlocked and you have some of the Herba Mystica, the Herba Mystica can be used in sandwiches in order to increase shiny chances. However, um, you can only unlock them basically after you've beaten the game. You can make a sandwich with the shiny power. And there you go. There's another message. The number of Tadbulb is getting lower. Um, so that means I've probably defeated about maybe 30 or 40 at this point, maybe 20 or 30. But um, I, I want to see one more method here, or sorry, one more message here to know that I've defeated the magic number to get the increased shiny chance. Uh, but anyways, what I was saying was you could make sandwiches in the picnic when you're when you're opening the picnic. And that does not affect, that does not, you know, hurt your odds. In fact, if you have the Herba Mystica, it increases your odds of getting a shiny. Um, Got to dodge that uh, gold. Oh, he's, he's after me. Um, also, leaving the area and saving your game and closing out of the game, they do not mess up your, 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 uh, the outbreak. So basically, you know, if I'm kind of farming here, if I've defeated 60 tad bulbs, and then I realize I'm, I'm out of Pokeballs, I could leave this area and come back and basically the shiny chances will remain in place for this outbreak. So um, that's really useful because, and, and also, you know, if you if you accidentally leave the area or again, if you just close out of your game, as long as you've saved the game, you can save the game and close out of it. And it also will not mess up your, your, uh, your shiny chances if you've gotten to that uh, magic number of 60 defeated. Um, also, you can defeat other Pokemon. So 
if I have a lot of Pokemon in my way, I can I can defeat Golduck. This is not like chaining. It's kind of similar to chaining, but it's not chaining. So I can defeat like a Golduck there, and my shiny my shiny odds will not decrease either. So like I said, it's a really friendly, really convenient way. Um, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to show some gameplay of that. And once again, just to kind of reiterate that for everyone. Uh, and, and I'm actually almost at this point where I'm going to start showing you like the picnic method itself. Um, if you have the shiny charm, obviously your shiny odds will be even further increased. I'm going to put those numbers on the screen here, but this method has really, really great shiny odds. In fact, I think I want to say it's better shiny odds than Masuda method without shiny charm. So this, this method without shiny charm is better than Masuda method without shiny charm, I believe. Although if you have the shiny charm, obviously that's even better, but... Yeah, so that's how you do the mass outbreak shiny hunting method in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I do believe this is the most reliable and consistent way to hunt shinies in the game. Obviously, if you're looking for a very specific shiny, this might not be the best method. It, I mean, it depends. You have to get lucky, right? Because if I'm looking for Fido's to shiny hunt, I need to get a Fido mass outbreak. And if I haven't found one, then obviously, you know, I'm going to have to keep keep trying every day or I can just, you know, keep resetting my game's clock um, in order to, you know, get get <laughs> a Fido uh, mass outbreak. Okay, also another thing about changing your clock is basically this mass outbreak will expire once the day ends. So when at the beginning of a day when I open my game, the, the game will, oh, oh sorry, wait. So I'll, I'll get to that right now, but um, there, there was the message right there. So that means I'm at basically the magic number now. I've defeated the, you know, the, the I, I keep saying this word, but I'm gonna keep using it, the magic number of tad bulbs here. And basically now I can do the picnic method to respawn tad bulbs um, and I will have a higher shiny chance. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show how that looks. Oops, I need to not be on Coridon. I need to have enough space in front of me. And then you just simply open a picnic and then once you throw all your Pokemon out, you close the picnic. As simple as that. And like I said, you can you can make a sandwich. It's okay if you make a sandwich. Um, I don't have the ingredients to increase shiny odds, so unfortunately I can't do that. But if you make the sandwich that increases shiny odds, it'll further increase your shiny odds. And then you leave the picnic. It might be faster if you only have like one Pokemon with you, because then you're only throwing one Pokeball. So like I said, the only thing that will that will end this mass outbreak is either defeating all of the Pokemon, which you don't want to do, or if the time hits the new day. So, you know, if the if this mass outbreak, if I open my game at like 12 p.m. noon, that mass outbreak will stay in my game until 12 a.m. midnight. Um, if I open my game at 8 a.m., the mass outbreak will stay in the game until 12 a.m. midnight. So the only thing that ends the mass outbreak again is defeating all the pokemon or your clock going to the next day if you're farming at like 11 50 pm and you still haven't found a mass outbreak and you're kind of scared that you know the day will end and the house the outbreak will end you can just change your your clock i believe you can just change your clock to an earlier time in the same day and i believe that will simply just basically the game will still think it's earlier in the day and it won't end the mass outbreak i've i've been told that that will work as well so like i said if you're using this this method and it's you know 11:50 p.m. and you still haven't gotten a shiny and you're you know you're like oh i really need this shiny i need i can't you know not um, go ahead and do that. Just just change your clock to a little bit earlier in the same day. But like I said, the the Twitter post I I will post below in the description is very detailed and it basically is like an FAQ for this method. So any question that you would have that I didn't think to answer in this video, um, you it, it'll likely be answered there. So I hope this video helped you out. I'm kind of trying to stay over there because that's the best place for me to open picnics, but also. From my understanding, Tadbulb's shiny is not super different from its regular form. I think the tail is just more red. So that's another thing. I advise if you're going to do this method, like just to try it out, I would advise you using a mass outbreak of a Pokemon whose shiny is very distinct. Because in Tatsugiri's case, it was kind of hard to tell. And also in Flittle's case, it was a little bit hard to tell which was shiny. So I was worried that like I was going to be running around and, and miss the shiny. 
and then you know open a picnic without knowing it and yeah so keep that in mind as well but i hope this video helped you out if there's anything that i thought would be important to mention that i didn't mention i'll post it in the pinned comment below and also in the description but if i hope this video helped you out please leave a like and subscribe for more pokemon scarlet and violet videos and yeah let me know in the comments which pokemon you want to shiny hunt the most in scarlet and violet for me since I already got my Tatsugiri, probably Cyclozar. I think Cyclozar is really cool. But anyways, uh, yeah, please let me know and subscribe and click the bell for more videos for notifications when I make new ones. I'll see you soon.